Hey, <laughs> 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 Yeah. Trey, you were very, uh, very excited after the fight. You know, great on the mic, yelling out to the crowd. Just take us through your emotions after the win. Man, it was, it was like a real, you know, sense of relief, man. Um, it, the build up to everything was, was really, really, you know, it was a lot of hype behind it. You know, seeing um, myself on billboards, on the commercials, on the radio. Uh, in Newsday, <laughs> see myself everywhere, man. Uh, every time I scroll down my social media, whether it was Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, you know, I saw myself on there. So I felt like I was obligated to come out here and put on a show for everybody. And, um, you know, even though I didn't uh, go out there and get a finish or whatever, I, I think it was a very entertaining fight. You were, uh, you were always pretty calm all week in the last couple of weeks about, you know, just go out and win. Yeah. But uh, did. Did that add up to all the stuff you mentioned? Did it start to add up and build up to you, like all the billboards and all the stuff and radio nah. spots and things? Nah, man, I told you all that stuff is always interchangeable. You know what I mean? There's going to be different venues, uh, different opponents, um, different advertisement. You know, it's not going to be the same thing every time. So for me, I don't really focus. I mean, it's nice. Uh, I did definitely take a picture of myself uh, outside, <laughs> you know, MSG with my face in the background. But at the end of the day, Nah, man, it's just you, it's the opponent, it's the cage, it's the ref, and you just go out there and you do what you got to do. Uh, there, there was the time when you had him in the submission, it looked like you might be able to finish him, then there were a couple times on the feet when it looked like you were going to finish him with your hands. Uh, were you upset that you didn't get the stoppage, or were you just happy to get the W here, the first night of PFL? I mean, at the end of the day, wins and losses matters most. You know, you got to, got to win, you know what I mean? And so... I'm happy that I won, but I mean, I would have loved to have got that finish, man. That's my that's my submission, man. I've been working on it and everything like that, but you know, we're gonna get back to the gym and tweak it a little bit more so the next time I get somebody there, they don't get out. Were you thinking about that point system when you're in there? Nah, man. At the, what's the name of the game is win in advance. You know what I mean? So it doesn't matter if I get three points now, three points later. Well, I'm gonna get my three. That's that's without a doubt, but. Um, you know, five, six, whatever points after that, I'll, I'll take it as it comes. But, you know, win in advance, man. And today I advanced. How conscious were you of uh, the no elbows rule? There was a few times where you had him ground up pounding, you had your elbow on his face, and like, you know, <laughs> we're sitting there like, you know, he wants to throw it, but. Like, I was very, very conscious because in my heart, I just wanted to start raining down elbows. And I'm like, goodness gracious, this is like the perfect position to just start letting him go. But. You know, you can't, and I think at one point, a couple, like, I think it was twice where he was um, on his back and he went to try and, you know, drop an elbow and he got warned twice for it. So, you know, it, it is a tough thing to do, you know, like, you got to be conscious of it, but, um, you know, I tried to land some, you know, ground and pound in other ways and, you know, it, it was all right. You had him uh, with that leg kick early when he, when he went down with the leg kick and oh, yeah. you didn't go in. It, what, why would, what was the reason you didn't go in um, to the ground for that? It was too early in the game for that, you know what I mean? I was, I, I didn't even really get off a good nothing yet, you know, I just one little leg kick and swept him out, so I wanted to see if I could sweep him again and again and again, so, um, it, yeah, I don't know, I just, I don't really think about, you know, them kind of tactics during the fight, man, I just let my training guide me through. At that moment in time, I still felt fresh, I still felt comfortable on my feet, I didn't feel like there was a need for me to dive into his guard and start working on the ground, so I just told him to get back up and let's get back to work. Uh, you threw everything in the kitchen sink at him, basically. Punches, leg sure. kicks, uh, dark choke attempts. Uh, were you surprised that he was able to last until the battle? And what was going through your mind as he was uh, withstanding all that? Um, no, I'm not surprised, man. You, you guys got to remember, even though it, it was definitely a dominant performance, Juma still has 20 professional wins. Um, Juma fought different organizations, and he, he's done well, you know what I mean? So it's not like he's a pushover where you can just get him up out of there any old kind of way, you know what I mean? So I had no choice but to throw everything in the kitchen sink at him with, you know, strikes, takedowns, uh, submission attempts. You know, I, I did everything I could do, but, you know, at the end of the day, he's a tough dude, and, you know, you just got to do what you got to do. So you're now um, tied fourth place with two other people, Nazarene and, and Timur, uh, with having three points. Um, for your next fight, is do you have will you have an extra incentive to get a finish now that you know you're a little behind on points? I mean, people always mention that you know behind on points, extra incentive, and and all that other stuff. Nobody, no fighter wants to go out there and fight the full 15 minutes ever. You know, if you can get the fight over in 30 seconds, you're going to get the fight over in 30 seconds. So there's always an incentive to go out there and finish, you know what I mean? Um, I tried to go out there and get the finish and it didn't work out. At the end of the day, 
it doesn't really matter so much about the whole point system. I think everybody's banking a little too much on the point system. Oh, I'm going to be the top seed. At the end of the day, you can be the top seed and still lose in the quarters and the semis. You know, the name of the game is win and you go forward. Win and you go forward. So that's what I'm focused on. You think... Uh